This is a review of the Hornby East Coast Trains HST 125, so the high speed train. This is a model zone exclusive, it's um, still available. Um, it, um, I assume it's a fairly limited model, probably a thousand, but it doesn't come with a certificate. Um, you can also get hold of, uh, this pack is the um, R2964 DCC ready model suitable for the minimum radius 438 so it's for the larger curves but you can also get to go with it and um, there's uh, four different coaches available you've got the R4443 Mark III buffet car and then the R4442 Mark III TGS trailer guard second is that I think Then there's the Mark III First Class Coach R4440, and then there's the Standard Coach, <coughs> which is R4441. So you've got um, R2964, main is the main pack, and then you've got R4440 up to R4443. I've actually got two of the TGS coaches, so I've got TGS for each end. A standard and a Mark One up in between there, and then the buffet car for the middle. So it's not quite the full length train, um, but it does. So um, that's pretty cool. The standard coach is actually now sold out um, on the website, as far as when I last looked. So um, I guess they'll all start to sell out quite soon. Um, but the model is the um, super detail model. Um, there's power car is R. Double four, double three. Uh, R. Start again. It's four double three double zero, and it's named Craig and Tinney. And the dummy car is four double three one zero, and it's unnamed. It's in the East Coast livery, which is white and silver. It's a stunning unit, and you can see um, on the box the two units, and then the coaches that go with it. And then you've got the full, or like a, a length train that you can see on the box as well. Um, I've actually taken out the box and I've been using it, but you can see. And there is, um, on my videos, you should be able to see a video of it running, so. But I thought I'd do a more detailed review of it. Two sleeves for digital chips, because it is digital ready. The instruction sheet for the maintenance and whatnot for this model. Um, it's got tips on lubricating on the two sets of axles, you've got information on removing the body and then rate of placing the fan on the drive tube and fitting a digital chip. So it's got the, by the looks of the image, the 8 pin socket. So it has got a working fan. Um, when you get it out of the box it's got a little metal plate that holds it in the box to avoid damage in transit. Um, so standard box, that's the screw and bracket that I just mentioned which I've taken away from the box. But I'll quickly show you. It's got the finger holes on the other side of the on the back of the box basically. So you can easily get it's um easy to get the locomotive out. It comes with the annoying tissue paper that's got these I mean I guess it helps protect it's got polystyrene bits but trying to get them back in the box neatly is a real pain. So this is the power car. Um, it's got um, directional lighting, so you've got and super detail. You can see such a smooth looking. Um, it's a real beauty, really. Um, the retail price was 150. They're now on offer to 120. I got them when they came on offer. It's got the um, opening cab doors to go into the super detailed, so you can see better into the super detailed cab. It's got the wiper on the front. I don't know if you what yeah, you just about to see it in the right light. And you can just see this really is stunning. Um, it's quite hard to see the name on the locomotive, I think. You, if you get the right angle, you can see it there. There you go, Craig and Tinney. But you can see the detail you've got on this locomotive. Um, one thing I have noticed on one of the reviews, I can't remember which is the right way around, but you can see it's got black grills. But on the box, it has silver grills. So I'm not quite sure which is the correct way round. Not that it makes too much difference to me. I'm not that much of a realistic modeler. 
um, but I guess it is nice to have um, it as true as possible. You've got a window in the um, middle of the corridor end there, You've got the little warning electric logos. The power car's got working roof fans, and you can see the detail you've got on the top there, and the livery, it's very crisp, very clear. Um, doesn't have any sort of switches to control the lighting, but it's a made in China model. It's got power to all the wheels. Obviously, it's only got two wheels on each axle, so you've got four axles in total, and then you've got pickup on all the wheels as well. Um, you, it's got the weird sort of raised up coupling there, but the coupling can be removed um, if required. Um, obviously, doesn't have um, buffers as per the real model, so no sprung buffers or anything like that. It's got flush, pretty much flush windows, and on the side there, the big wide door, and you can see the detailing on there. It's um, it's pretty good, as per all these super detail models. So that's the main power car, which is named, and then you've got the unnamed power uh, dummy car. So they're both DCC ready. So this one's got lights as well in the end. So you have white and red directional lighting. You've got the number underneath there as well. You can see just how sleek and modern that looks. They haven't done a bad job making these sort of like 30 year old locomotives really look stunning really. Um, this is so light, this one. Um, it's got contacts to all the wheels. Um, so you'll get, um, should get, as long as your track's right, you should get better contact um, to get power to the light so they shouldn't flicker as much and things like that. It's got the super detailed cab as well, the opening cab doors. Um, like I said, this one isn't named, so you've got the plain silver sides there. And the stunning livery. So yeah, it really is stunning. Um, I'll quickly take out, um, I'll show you, I'll just show you one of the coaches. Um, I'll show you the buffet coach. They're all going to be very similar, but just slightly different deliveries. Um, so they come with a standard Hornby box. And then you can see nice smooth wheels, also made in China models, obviously the latest generation. But you can see the white and silver, got the dark blue, almost black doors. And you look at the detail around the doors printed around there and the model numbers. It's just amazing. You've got the little, it's got little windows in the end of the corridor, but they're not actually you've got plastic windows, but you've got obviously windows all around. Even the effect of the, on the top of the window, the silver strip, which would be the piece that you pull down to open the window, because obviously on these HSTs you can only open the door from the outside. And you've got the little sort of area there where you would have to simulate that you've got the lights there to show um, when the doors are unlocked and everything, and you've got the details on the end. Um, you can actually see how much detail you've got there, you can actually see the first class right in there, look how fine that is, that's brilliant isn't it? Yeah, nice scale length coaches as well. Couplings are removable again, as per the power locomotive. I said that was a buffet car, but that's actually not, that's the standard, oh, that's the first class coach. That probably means I've put them all back in the wrong boxes. Let's see if I can find... I'll put the buffet car in the first class box. But you can see the buffet car. Look at that. Detail there. Restaurant it's got written there. I don't think you'll be able to see that. But you can see you've got the smaller windows for the restaurant car. Just stunning. Really great. You can see the how great they look together. Look, the two. Deliveries. It's just wonderful. Really great. They just look fantastic, I think. Just that little bit different and being exclusive to Model Zone just means they'll probably hold their value a little bit better as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you like them.